Do you know what the one down position is in betrayal, trauma, couple recovery? There's more on that coming up, so don't go anywhere. Greetings everybody, welcome to Recovery TV. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about this concept that we call the one down position. This is something that we use in betrayal, trauma, couple recovery, and so we're gonna get into that in just a minute. But before we do, as always, I would like you to please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring that bell so that you can be notified when more videos like this are posted. Let's begin with the obvious question. What is this one down position that I speak of? I think most would agree that a healthy couple relationship has a balance and that each couple operates on an even playing field, which means nobody's greater than the other. But after a betrayal trauma, the unfaithful partner is going to take a one down position to the injured partner. This means that the unfaithful partner is going to position themselves to help aid in the healing of the injured partner. This is not that uncommon. This is something that we would often do in a lot of situations. For example, if your partner sustained heavy injury from a horrible car accident, the party that is not injured would take a one down position to assist in the recovery of the person who was injured in that car accident. Most of us wouldn't think twice about coming up with a plan where the non-injured party takes that one down position as a caretaker of sorts so that they can assist in the healing process of the injured partner so that they can get back on even playing field and continue their lives as a healthy married or committed couple. So in betrayal trauma couple recovery, we often recommend that the unfaithful partner take that one down position for two primary reasons. So the first reason is that the wounded partner has sustained a heavy emotional injury. The type of injury that the wounded partner is dealing with often requires a prolonged period of recovery. And your job as the non-injured party is to assist in that recovery. You are to become someone they can lean on while they are in this process of recovery and getting back on their feet. The second reason that we believe it's important for your the unfaithful partner to take this one down position is because although most unfaithful partners aren't trying to hurt anybody upon the discovery of their indiscretions they realize that they are holding a knife that just cut their partner open so it's not only the loving thing to do it's the responsible thing to do so in the rest of this video I just want to talk to you about three things that I think you should know about the one down position the first thing is that the one down position is not about creating a foolproof system of telling the truth. It's about presenting truth to assist in healing. So the person in the one down position has to have a whatever it takes mentality. In other words, you're willing to do whatever it takes within reason to help with their healing. I make sure to emphasize the words within reason because sometimes wounded partners will ask for things that are unreasonable, but it's rare. From my experience in working with couples in betrayal trauma recovery, partners often don't ask for enough because they're embarrassed or ashamed to do so. But one way to determine if it's within reason is to really look at the extremes. We want to avoid the extremes. So if your partner requests that you go rob a bank to prove your love to them, I would say that's not within reason. That's dangerous and reckless and flat out against the law. Most of the time partners are asking for things like access to your phone, regular viewing of your phone, access and passwords to your social media accounts, installing a tracking app so they can see where you are at times where they're feeling anxious, coming up with a system of communication so that you can put their mind at ease when they start to worry about where you are and what you're doing, creating regular routines to reassure your love and commitment to them. Wounded partners often resist this because they never wanted to be that partner that is constantly checking up on their partner and seeing what they're doing and not trusting them. But that's not what it's about. It's about seeing trust. It's about experiencing trust before your eyes. In other words, partners don't really trust their ears very much, but they can trust their eyes. And your job as the partner in the one down position is to present trust before them 
any chance that you get. The struggle that you may have is that nobody wants to feel like they are under a microscope, but you can't think of it that way. You have to think of it as good medication. You have this good medication where you are able to present truth and honesty to them right before their very eyes, and any opportunity you can do that, then you should take it. Again, it's not creating a foolproof system of telling the truth. You can't control for everything. It's about creating a new way of functioning that involves honesty, transparency, and integrity as opposed to secrecy and deception. The second thing that I believe is important to take note of is that the one down position is temporary. Go ahead, you can wipe the sweat off your brow. This position is not meant to be permanent. In fact, it needs to be very temporary. I would hate to put a time frame on it out of fear of you feeling misled. However, I would say that we're talking about a matter of months as opposed to years. But in Betrayal Trauma Couple Recovery is about inching the unfaithful partner back up to a position of equality or balance in the couple relationship. But how long would that take specifically for your couple relationship? Well, that really would depend on your unique circumstances. But as I said, it is meant to be temporary. No couple relationship can sustain this type of functioning long term. The last thing I want to mention about the one down position is that the transition back to a more balanced state of the coupleship is often disruptive. If you're the partner that committed the infidelity, it's important for you to realize that the effort that you're putting into recovery is not meant to be a life sentence. Your shame and your guilt will often encourage you to stay in that one down position as if you deserve to be punished for the rest of your life for the pain and agony that you caused this person that you love. But the reality is that your partner doesn't want to be in a relationship like that. They want to be with someone that has worked through their guilt and shame and someone that loves themselves as much as they love their partner. But that doesn't mean it won't be difficult for them as you transition out of that. In fact, at that point in time, they will often feel a very strong sense of unfairness. Your transition out of the one down position reflects health and well-being, which will often feel like insult to injury to the wounded partner. The level of injustice that they feel from the betrayal that you committed runs deep. How is it fair to me that I have to deal with all this recovery from this injury that I sustained when I did nothing wrong? As much as they know that you can't be in that one down position forever, it still is troubling when they experience you come out of it. That's a normal part of the process. And as much as you might know that, it's still very difficult to experience. The reality is that betrayal trauma couple recovery would be very difficult, if not impossible, to do on your own. So if you haven't already, I would encourage you to seek out a betrayal trauma recovery expert in your area to help guide you through this process. As always in these videos, I made sure to put a link in the description below that will take you to a therapist directory where you can find betrayal trauma experts in your area. I really would encourage you to check that out and find someone that can help you along. But whether or not you are active in an actual betrayal trauma couple recovery program or you're just researching material right now to help you along your journey or you're researching it for somebody else, I hope this video proves to be at minimum a little bit helpful in your recovery journey. I'll see you back here next time.